Today's video will most likely only ever be applicable to people once per year. It doesn't come up very often, but it is an important activity that people should be doing to find a great phone deal. It really baffles me how many people don't seem to know how to do this, and it's something that definitely should be common knowledge. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you a method that I personally use to save money on my phone bill every single year. Now, depending on where you live in the world, the specifics of what I'm about to cover in today's video will differ ever so slightly, but the same method and approach can be taken wherever you are to basically come out with the same outcome. And just as a quick disclaimer as well, all of the companies and businesses that I mentioned in today's video, I am not sponsored by any of them. I'm just going to use them as examples because I personally use them and get value out of their services. Okay, so jumping right into it. I know quite a lot of people who spend anywhere between 60 and $100 per month on their phone bill year in, year out. That's about $720 per year for the $60 per month plan or $1,200 per year for the $100 per month plan. And a lot of the time, these people do not use anywhere near their data caps, their calls and text caps. They do not use anywhere near what they are provided with. Usually they might just go into the store and end up signing up with one of the big carriers because they walk into a store, a sales rep tells them, this is the product you want. They don't really do any research or question what they're being sold. They sign up for it and away they go. All these big telecommunication companies are the first ones to pop up when someone does a simple Google search and that is as far as their research goes for finding a phone plan. I used to be one of these people as well. I used to spend about $65 per month on my phone plan and very rarely got the full usage out of it. Fast forward to today where now what I do each year is I do a couple of hours of research to find the best phone deal for me that both meets my needs and requirements and doesn't break the bank. And I'm going to give some monetary values as to what I mean break the bank at the end of this video. So definitely stick around for that. And now would be a good time to just quickly tap that like and subscribe button really helps the channel, only takes a second of your time and it's definitely appreciated. What I'm going to quickly do is walk you through step-by-step step what I've done for this year being 2022, because my phone plan's just about to come due, which I'll mention in a moment as well. And then I'm going to explain where you can find these deals, how you can do your research and how you can actually get yourself into a more suitable deal that isn't going to break the bank, is going to give you everything you need and isn't gonna to be too difficult to transition across. So context first. Last year, after doing my research, and setting myself up, I ended up going with a company here in Australia known as Boost Mobile. I paid $240 for the entire year, which gave me more than enough data for my needs. And the only other criteria I had was I needed to be on the full Telstra network and Boost Mobile is on the full Telstra network. That is for work purposes, because I work remotely and I can't get connection with any other providers. Telstra in Australia is a massive telecommunications company with massive coverage. Moving on from that, just unlimited standard calls and texts and same with a bit of international standard calls and texts. That's pretty common these days. It's kind of been standardized amongst phone plans. The main two things we were focusing on was who's the carrier, is it correct? Or is it what I need? And is the data enough? And this was a great deal. It worked out to be about $20 per month throughout the entire year. And I got everything I needed out of it. The only catch was that it was only eligible to people signing up as new customers to the Boost Network. Now that was the deal that I went on last year for 2021. And that is now coming to an end being early 2022 when I'm recording this video. Now what I've done is looked at what it's going to cost me to get basically the same amount of data to stay on the network work with Boost because that's who I'm very happy with. I wanted to see, is it gonna cost me to stay with them? And it's not that much money overall across the year extra. So as a worst case scenario, I'm going to stay with them for about $5 more per month. It's still no $65 a month. Now, when I start to do my research, when I'm going to be spending money on a new item, I like to take my time. I'll spend anywhere between two weeks and six months, like really looking into every option, breaking it down and seeing which one's going to be the best for me. That's because I like doing that. It's not that I have to do that. I think it's a pretty interesting challenge. However, for saving about five bucks a month, because $25 a month is already pretty cheap to stay with who I'm with, it probably wasn't really worth doing that much of extensive research. So what I decided to do was give myself one to two hours to see if there was anything better that might work out long-term, basically work out in the long-term 
and see if that was something that is worth going with if I could find a better deal. The idea behind this was that if I leave the Boost Network now, that means that in a year's time or two years time, if there's another deal like the one I signed up with this year, I can become a new customer and go back to Boost by taking one of those deals in the future. So after doing that research, I actually found a company called Belong who offer very similar deals at a very competitive price in comparison to what Boost are offering. The best deal they're currently offering for new signups is $25 per month. And again, the only two criteria I was really looking for was to have enough data from the plan and that they would be on the Telstra network, which they are. What's interesting about Belong in particular is that I found out once you become a member, there are a range of different offers that open up to you. And there are a couple of extra bonuses, which I'm going to cover in a moment. Number one is that once you sign up, you can actually adjust onto even cheaper plans, which offer less data. And that in my mind, I was like, okay, it probably isn't going to be the best idea to do that because then I'm not going to be able to meet my needs. What I found out was that with belong, something that Boost do not do, belong, roll your data over, meaning it adds to a pool of data. So if I started on that $25 a month for, let's say, 50 gig a month, and I stayed there for like three months and then adjusted my plan, which takes all of about 10 seconds to do through their app or online, I would then be paying less, but have a pool of data that I can chew through over the year. And if I ever get close to using it, I can go back to that $25 plan at any time. And number two is that Belong offer a referral bonus to new signups to both someone who is with the carrier and the new signup. So my friend who informed me about this deal mentioned that I have a referral code which will give me $20 of credit for signing up and it will also give him $20 of credit for signing up. When I say credit, it's $20 off of their bill. So if you had a couple of friends who were interested in signing up, you gave them your code, you both get $20 of credit, it's a win-win. And absolutely, I have put my own code down in the description below. If you are someone who's living in Australia looking for a good, decent provider and are watching this video while these offers are still available. The code is down in the description below. Feel free to use it and get $20 of free credit and I will get a little bonus out of it. It's a win-win. The best thing about this is you can get as many referrals as possible and stack it onto your account. So instead of paying $300 for the Boost Mobile deal, I'll be paying the exact same upfront, but I'll be adjusting my plan to be a lot cheaper once I have that data built up in my excess data pool. From just that one code alone, I'm knocking $20 off from sign up, which puts me with a new carrier so that one day, maybe next year, let's say in 12 months time, if Boost have this excellent deal available again, I can go back to them for cheap and be very comfortable on that new deal. So it's kind of like a triple win. I'm going to probably do a review 12 months from this video because it's my first time covering the topic, but it's something that I didn't realize how many people don't actually do this. When you think about it, you're not really going, oh, I'm saving $5 per month or I'm saving $40 per month if you're going from 65 to 25 on that type of plan shift. But what I'm about to do right now is just give you some examples of how much money this really adds up to. Because I'm going to rinse, repeat doing this forever. I really see value in doing it and I'm gonna compare, let's say a $20 plan to a $100 plan right now, just to really give you perspective. Comparing the 20 to $100 plan, I will be saving about $800 a year. What can you do with $800? Let's say I decide to invest that $800 I'm saving every year for 30 years at a 5% return. Turn. This would end up being worth about $56,600 at that calculation. Saving $800 a year, I could probably go on a pretty decent holiday every couple of years without even thinking too much about that money. I could probably buy a brand new phone every two years, like brand new outright and not even have to worry about paying it off over a period of time and still be able to stay on one of these cheap deals, which give me everything I need as well. The point that I'm trying to make is that it is not an insignificant number that you could potentially be saving on your phone bill over a long period of time. It is absolutely worth doing the research to save those extra few dollars here and there because at the end of the day, it really does add up. And to find deals like this as well, don't just do a Google search. There are lots of different bargain platforms out there all around the world. I've actually made a video talking about one in Australia in particular, and I've linked them for Canada, the US and other countries that have similar platforms. The video is called Ozbargain and it's about 
the platform here in Australia called Ozbarg, and I've linked it down in the description below. Feel free to give that video a watch after this one. I highly encourage you to understand how platforms like this work because at the end of the day, what they are trying to accomplish is finding the best deals for people just like you and me, because it's a community of people who find deals, post them online, and then you get to reap the rewards by using them. You don't have to contribute anything to the website yourself. If you do decide that you wanna become part of those communities and actually put deals up as they come up, absolutely do it. There is value in using these services and they're completely free and accessible 24 hours a day. If you are someone who's been on the same phone plan for a really long time, I would highly encourage you to just shop around and have a look do some research and see if there is a better plan out there that will save you a lot of money over the course of a number of years. It doesn't take all that long to do. I've given you the tools you need to do it and it's definitely worth your time. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that it was insightful. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on bell notifications because it absolutely helps the channel grow. And that's pretty much it. Have a good day, have a good week. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.